What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be looking at Shiftry. Just had its community day. Got that new move Bullet Seed. So I got a rank 193 shiny one so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to power it up here. Um, I'm excited to use this because I never actually had a Shiftry for the Great League. Even with Snarl before. So this is my first one and it's my first time using it as well. So Interesting that it can learn Hurricane, but I'm gonna go with Leaf Blade Foul Play here. So <laughs> we catch a Toxicroak, not good. Gotta switch out of there real quick. Um, I have two sets here. I'm just back from my community day here in Limerick, in Ireland. So uh, I think I led with with Shiftry in the first set, and in the second set I used him in the back. So you're gonna see some pretty good plays, some more pretty bad plays out of me, but sure if you use shift tree and you're not as bad as I am, you'll have a much better time. So, fortunately, <laughs> down goes the Altaria here, and like the thing about shift tree is he needs a lot of shields, so his ice beam from Azumarill comes in, you have to shield, and then he reminds me of Haunter in a sense, you have to protect it basically, but given its niches, it's definitely very good, so, like again, I try to switch out here, but it doesn't come. Uh, this is a mud bomb. It can survive a couple of attacks, but like if it's not very effective and the Pokemon attacking you doesn't have stab, then sometimes you're okay. But for the most part, Shifri definitely needs to get shielded. So it does have a high attack stat, though. So even though that Leaf Blade went through, um, it definitely did a lot of damage, even though it was resisted by Toxic Probe. So here we just got Umbreon versus Azumarill. I don't know why they didn't bring Umbreon into my Bullet Seed Shifri. Um, I would have liked to have seen that matchup, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Ice Beam here and try to get the shield seeing as they have two. They don't shield the first one, so I'm thinking, okay, surely they'll shield here if I go for it again. So we don't have to shield these last resorts, we can survive a lot of them. But, yeah, let me know what you think of Shiftry. I feel like I want to try it out with Snarl before I make my judgement, but overall I wasn't too happy with it, I didn't think it was very great. There was nothing special about it. Here I just bring it in to make a sack swap, so that's not what you came to see, but... He takes the last resort well for me, and I'm like, okay, but I'm on the back foot here. I don't have much chance of winning this battle. They still have a Toxic Croak in the back, and I'm just gonna go Ice Beam again here. If they shielded, it was good, but if they didn't shield, it was also good because I could farm down on energy, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna shield this last resort, but they just switch out instantly, and in comes Toxic Croak with the shield. This game is over, so yeah, not a great start, definitely, but. I mean, Toxicroak Rex, Shiftry, so that wasn't a good lead. And yeah, let's go straight into the second battle here, no messing around. It's a Shiftry, so interesting, interesting. I think this one has Bullet Seed as well, it does, so I don't actually know how this mirror match goes. I know mine is a very highly ranked one, so I'm thinking maybe it'll lose the CMPs, but if there's no shields, my one should win overall, so that's good. Of course I've got the shiny, it should be doing more damage, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I don't have to shield these Leaf Blades. I didn't know what was better between Leaf Blade and Dark Pulse, but or Foul Play, but I just said because they did Leaf Blades, I would do Leaf Blade, so I guess Leaf Blade is probably better in terms of energy and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, here I have, that's Bullet Seed went through, so I'm like, okay, I can shield here, I have enough for two Leaf Blades for whatever comes in, probably won't be able to get off two, but yeah, it's a fire. It's a Marowak, so Fire Spin Marowak, I'm like, hmm, he'll probably think it's a foul play. So I get a shield, and I'm trying to tap for the second Leaf Blade, but it doesn't come true in time. But that's okay, we're in a decent position here. I brought in the Azumarill, and I'm like, they'll make a switch, but they switched in Azumarill, so that's okay. I'm comfortable with this because I know Altaria can beat Marowak in the back, so... For the next couple of minutes, if you'll bear with me, it's an Azumarill mirror match. I was gonna pause it there and just skip this long display, but... I figured I'd soldier through, so, again, I maybe Shiftry can be much better with Bullet Seed given the team, I don't know if Altaria and Azumarill is particularly the best team to use it with, but I said I'd give it a go, do a couple of sets with it, saw a couple of familiar faces today in the Gold Battle League as well, so that's always good. They do a Hydro Pump, we're just trading back and forth here. Um, I figured I would not shield this because A I knew it was an ice beam and B it's at dragon breath range so I just wanted to get a head start and build up towards the sky attack so I knew they couldn't get off a second ice beam and now we're loaded on energy here I just go sky attack um, 
they've got a shield, they're probably going to use it straight away. So yeah, their shield is gone. And I, I should have just shielded this one, I guess, but I thought they were going to bluff. They didn't bluff, it was a shadow ball, so I'm like, okay, game on, I guess. And this one comes in. I knew it was a bone club this time, but I just figured there was no better opportunity to use my last shield. And this Dragon Pulse is going to KO the Marowak, so we won here. It's uh, good. So we're 1-1 one and one at the moment. Um, now I see a Lapras with Ice Shard, and I'm like, okay, super effective against each other. I should be outpacing this Lapras to the charge moves. And I was kind of thinking, I saw this new team that's going around with the return Sableye and the Lapras and stuff like that, so I'm thinking it could be that. Um, which got me thinking about the next Pokemon that was coming in, but in the meantime, he uses two shields on his Lapras and just straight farms. So that was a good play, I guess. Maybe it was a good play, I don't know. So I bring in my... Azumarill of course, which is kind of a bummer for me because I was expecting a Sableye in the back, but I was like, okay, I'm going to shield this first Skull Bash because I'm going to have to shield one eventually, and it doesn't really make a difference which one you shield, but yeah, I go for the Hydro Pump of course, it still does a fair amount of damage even though this Lapras has been buffed, so I'm like, that's cool, uh, in comes the second Skull Bash, so these do a fair amount of damage back to me. They're not very quick to get through though, so they make the switch here, I don't know if that was necessarily the best call by them. And because they switched into a Hypno, I trusted my gut instinct here that they had Thunder Punch and Shadow Ball. So I switch in my Altaria, and I'm like, okay, damn, let's see if this pays off. This could be a nice punch for all I know, four times weak to it, but this time it is a Thunder Punch, so I'm like, great. And then, in comes a second attack, I'm like... This could be a genius play by them if it's an Ice Punch, but it's just a Thunder Punch again, so... Yeah, I had no need to shield there, and I go for the farm down with this Altaria. And now, I know the Lapras is going to come in next, so... I try to hit this guy attack straight away. I'm not sure if that Ice move damage came through, but... Either way, we're in an okay spot here. Well, actually, we're not in a great spot, so I go for the Dragon Pulse. Puts this uh, Vigoroth down to about half HP. And I come straight back in with Lapras. I'm trying to get this Ice Beam off, but unfortunately Vigoroth has a high attack stat and wins all the CMPs against my team. And he's just a Body Slam machine, so I just tap on the Ice Beam and the Body Slam comes true. Which is enough to KO this Azumarill, and then they're gonna take this game. <laughs> so, 1 and 2 now. I'm sorry, I forgot to pause this part, but third game, you see a Registee lead, so it's nice that I guess it was a different lead so far every time. Gives you a good, like, broad reference of Bullet Seed, Shift Tree, so it is very spammy. It does get to these charge moves very quick, and they do a fair amount of damage, so if they're super effective, they're gonna wreck, but against the neutral types, they do pretty good, so I'm gonna shield here, just because this video is about Shift Tree, I decided I would shield an awful lot. Uh, here, I think I go for a foul play as well. I guess I could have went Leaf Blade... But it all comes down to whether or not they shield. So they shield this time, I'm like, okay, fair enough, I could have went Leaf Blade. This time, I, I stupidly went Leaf Blade. That was wrong of me to do. Um, I knew they wouldn't shield twice, but either way, I guess maybe I wouldn't have got to the second foul play, so who knows. I let this um, thingy go down, Shift Tree. <laughs> that could have been a Flash Cannon. I wanted to know how much Flash Cannon did, but it was a Focus Blast this time, so I'm like, okay. Now, I'm not in a great position because I don't have to switch in advantage and I'm like okay do I straight farm this Registeel down and I panic I'm like no nah, I'll just go for the ice beam we have enough energy on this Azumarill maybe could have farmed down there and taken another one another flash cannon but either way in comes this Azumarill of its own and I just have to go straight hydro pump here for the next while as you know we're at a disadvantage here because I only have an Altaria in the back and this Azumarill is quite low already so yeah, I think this is a player off as well, so not good. I'm gonna go down here to another player off or ice beam or whatever it may be. Luckily, I get the CMP here, I think, and we're able to fire off one more hydro pump. But it's looking like too little, too late. They go for the straight farm, so I switch out, and yeah, I'm gonna shield this ice beam, but they have enough energy to take out this Altaria. I think they make a switch here or something. Yeah, they bring in their own Altaria, but either way, it's game over at this point, so I'm like, screw it. I'll go for a Dragon Pulse here, just because. And they don't actually shield, so that was very interesting, but... If I had known that, I could have charged to a Great, maybe, or something, but nah, either way. 
and Ice Beam is going to come in and wreck this Altaria. So, GG's there. Not looking good for us so far with the Bullet Seed Shiftry. So, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm battling a rank 10 battler here, so automatically I'm like, okay, this isn't good. And it's an Altaria. So, we have been very unlucky with Shiftry in the lead. And I feel like that could have been the difference in a couple of battles if I had Shiftry in the back. But that's the game we're playing. So, right here, I'm just going to go for the foul plays. I know they have to do energy to kill us because we can spam these foul plays real quick. So, I shield here, and then I'm like, maybe they'll shield this foul play. So I go for a leaf blade, but they don't shield, so excellent on their behalf. We have some more energy, I'm able to get off one more foul play. And then because this guy is a rank 10 battler, he knows that he can shield this, and he is in complete control of this match now, so... Yeah. Um, tough battler. I stupidly brought in the Altaria here, I think it was a misclick on my behalf. You see me try to switch real quick, but that was real dumb of me. Um, should have brought in the Azumarill, of course, and now we're at a massive disadvantage because I have to shield the second Sky Attack, so... Yeah, we've got two Pokémon left, we've probably got less than half health in this Altaria, and of course we don't have to switch advantage in their upper shield, so... Again, this is a... Maybe you could blame this battle on me being bad, <laughs> more so than Shiftry not being great, but... Definitely Shiftry is tricky to use, and... You need some. You need to, probably need to win the lead to use Shiftry well, in my opinion. So this is going to be a wrap. Of course, I don't give up. I never give up. So play this battle out, even though we're going to get whooped. Yeah, they switch back in uh, a zoom <laughs> just to make just to put the nail in the coffin. So I'm just like, screw. It, I'll do this hydro pump and fight to the best of my ability, but. It's not looking good, of course, we're gonna lose this battle, so... I make a switch in. I don't even know what I was trying to do there, but... Yeah, this guy attack does nothing, and that's gonna be a GG, so... I skipped that one. Look at this, so this is the second set. <sighs> we catch a grass type, grass steel type, so it couldn't be much worse for my Azumarill, but they make a switch here, they bring in a Skarmory, so I was thinking... If I had like a, a Lola Marowak on this team or something, it would've wrecked, but... Yeah, Skarmory, we have a head start on the energy. Um, I go for the Sky Attack. Not doing super effective damage, but it's quite spammy in comparison to, to Skarmory when you have the energy head start. And Dragon Breath damage is what you're really after here in this match. It does an awful lot, so I count their, sky, their air slashes and I'm like, yeah, I can shield up here and probably get to another Sky Attack on whatever comes in next, which is good. So I'm going to farm it down. And... Fortunately, we were not very far. We didn't have many good leads today. So, so it comes at the Oxus, and I'm trying to get to this Dragon Pulse. Uh, we'll do a fair amount of damage, but yeah, the shield comes up. So interesting here. If I had Snarl, I could have brought back in my Shift Tree, no problem, and it would have been great. But either way, we're taking super effective damage from the counter. So again, I'm not really sure when you can use Shift Tree to the best of its ability, but. I'm gonna play this out. I go for a hydro pump here. We'll put the Deoxys real low, and I don't feel like they'll double shield the Deoxys, so yeah, it goes through, puts them on red health. That's good. I don't mind having my Zoom Rule go down here to a Thunderbolt. At least the energy is gone, and we can farm down this Deoxys. So you'll see here, these counters massively add up, and they actually get to a charge move. So I'm like, okay, I guess I have to try and survive this one no matter what. But. Yeah, in comes the Ferrothorn, and it is too little too late, unfortunately. So, I go for the Leaf Blade to try to get this last shield out of the way. And I'm just curious to see how much one foul play will do. Uh, maybe if I had Hurricane or something, I could have played these matches better, but... Foul play and Leaf Blade is probably the recommended moveset. So, this foul play will come in and do a fair chunk. Puts it on, you know, yellow health. And we are toast. So, into the next battle here. Battling a familiar face, Oreo16, you might have seen him on the leaderboards of Sylph and stuff like that. Uh, I helped this guy prepare for a couple of tournaments that he was doing, and he's one heck of a battler, so... Terrible lead here, <laughs> he led with Shiftry, so... Maybe he knew what I was scheming or something, but... We come in with the Altaria, he comes in with the Azumarill, automatically here. Gonna lose this match. Um, puts us in a terrible position, of course, he... 
Counted very well there with the Dragon Breaths. I almost got to another Sky Attack, but in comes the Ice Beam. Gets rid of this Altari, and now here I'm like, cool. Let's get to this Leaf play, but we don't. He gets to an Ice Beam, so of course I have to shield here, and as I was saying about Shift 3, it's very situational, so I count their bubbles, and I'm like, okay, now I fire off, and could have easily shielded there and done another Ice Beam, but he lets the Azumarill go down, probably the correct play overall. Um, we're not looking good here again. I think he comes in with a Deoxys, yeah, so... Here, I wasn't sure what to do. I went Leaf Blade first, and they don't shield, but because they had two shields, I guess it was the right play. Now, I go for a Foul Play this time, which probably wasn't the correct move. I could have went for a Leaf Blade this time, and they shield. And look at this, the counters. You wouldn't think <laughs> that, you know, that beats Psychic when you're looking at this with these moves and stuff. So, I don't shield here, I just let the Shift go down, and yeah, I don't think we can win this battle, so... In comes this... Thunderbolt, I assume, and I don't even shield it. It's just like, damn, there's no winnable outcome here for me. Now, I just try to farm it down and go for an Ice Beam. I think the Deoxys is at Ice Beam range, so that's good for the Azumarill, but yeah. Again, Shift Tree, probably better with Snarl, having played these battles, so I'm fairly sure I lost like 8 out of 10 or something like that using Bullet Seed, but. I definitely want to try it with uh, Snarl as the quick move and see how Shift Re performs, but yeah, I'm kind of happy with the Pokemon community day I had. Um, another Grass type, okay, that's great. So that's two battles out of two, and you see the Pokemon Go Battlegrounds, Discords and stuff. And of course, Trumwe, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, messaged me because I came up against two people I know today, so that's cool. Uh, I go for the foul plays against this Registeel, correct play of course. It does an uh, okay amount, for sure. It does about the same as a Mud Bomb would do to a Registeel, which is crazy, so... I'm gonna shield this first one again, probably shouldn't have, but I don't even know if we can survive a, fa a Flash Cannon, I never found out, so... Here I go for the Leaf Blade, I'm like, okay, well, I shielded, so they're probably gonna shield. Which they do, so that's good for us, and we have a massive energy gain here. I double shield, I'm like, this could be a focus blast, but it's a flash cannon again. And I have the switch menu ready, and I'm counting the Registeel lock-ons, and I just go Leaf Blade again here because I know that'll be enough to KO the Registeel. So down goes the Registeel, in comes a Bastiodon, so I think Leaf Blade again here is the better play, I'm not too sure, because it is neutral, it just requires less energy as all, well, but go for the foul plays and in fairness to Shiftry, it kind of hung around for a bit here and got off some chip damage. You can see the Registeel's health when Shiftry is dead, passes away, it took a shield and we get another Leaf Blade off so maybe if I went straight Leaf Blades here it would have been a better situation for us but yeah it does a fair amount of damage here with these Leaf Blades and the, and the Bullet Seeds. We're close to another Leaf Blade but we don't get it off so I come in with a Azumarill here and I was trying to switch on the Frenzy plant, but as you see, we don't get that switch off, so either way, it's not looking too bad here. I can just bring in the Altaria and straight farm this down. Um, I know some people say it's better to actually use the Sky Attacks against the Meganium, but in this scenario, I was just kind of wanted to keep the energy for the Bastiodon because I wanted to make the Bastiodon use all of the energy it had built up, and the only way to do that was to straight farm this Meganium so that I could fire off a charge move and put the Bastiod on low. So as you'll see here, I got Dragon Pulse. And these Dragon Pulses, even though it's not very effective, it's only resisted by the Steel typing, not by the Rock typing, unlike the Flying move. So he's like, damn, he's lower than I probably expects. So he can't farm us down, he has to waste his energy. And then I'm happy out because one Ice Beam here will do. And I don't know if they were close to another charge move, but either way, I didn't want to find out. So at least we won a couple of battles here for you today to look at. Straight into the next battle, finally caught a favorable lead, um, it was an Altaria, so I have the switch menu ready, and I'm like, yeah, okay, in comes Swamper. And here you'll see again another use of it now, I don't know if this is me not performing well, or Shiftry not performing well, but you'd be thinking, right, water and ground, double weak to grass, double weak to bullet seed, okay, this should be a walk, so here, this could be a sludge wave, so I definitely have to shield, but it's not, it's just a hydro cannon, and they go for back-to-back -back hydro cannons, which leads me to believe this is an earthquake variant of Swampert. 
So yeah, we can survive one or two maybe. Um, unfortunately, they get theirs off, and <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll let the shifter go down. But he hangs on with one HP or something because I had already clicked the leaf blade. I'm like, yeah, okay. So we just about won here with the switch in, which is crazy. Uh, in comes the Altaria. I don't know what happened there. It was some sort of visual glitch, but yeah, I'm timing here. I'm, I don't want to get you know, then make a switch out when I try to do the ice beam, so I'm like, okay, I'll just take this sky attack, we can survive one either way. I fire off this ice beam, and of course they have to shield this Altaria, because otherwise Altaria would be no more. So here again, I don't want to get hot switched, and I'm just like, okay, I'll go straight for the ice beam this time, try to throw them off a bit, so this ice beam will KO. Oh no, it doesn't KO, okay. So they just about survive, and then I make the switch, because I, I want to find out what they have in the back. Definitely, I'm like, hmm. What is it? So, didn't want to let my zoom reel get too low, and I just switch out. It's a bastard on, so I'm just like, okay, I'll do as much damage as I can here with the Zaltaria. I know I have a shield, but they're gonna farm me down. So, luckily, we're able to get to another Dragon Pulse. Um, as you'll see, I think I took about, yeah, probably half the HP down off the bastard on overall, so that's not too bad for a dragon flying type. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna shield this first one. I don't know how much energy the opposing Altaria had, but it's okay, either way. So yeah, I'm farming down here, and I'm like, okay, red HP, and then in comes this Altaria, man. It dampened my day, so definitely not good. Another loss for you. Now, here we catch another Altaria, and I'm like, damn, okay, I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. I'm gonna win this time, you guys, I, I promise you. So I count up. I let them fire off a sky attack, they don't switch out, so I'm like, okay, this is great for me, so now it's just down to using the ice beam at the right time, so that they can't switch out into something that resists ice beam, you know? So yeah, of course, shield comes up, and we almost have enough for another ice beam, which is great, we get to it, and they're probably one dragon breath away from a sky attack right now. Here's where it gets interesting, they do a double shield, so that puts us in a great spot. We have two shields, and Zumro is still in a winning position for this matchup, so... I don't know why they didn't make a switch out even here at this point, but it's okay. Oh, they do, okay. So they try to switch out on the ice beam, as I was suspecting, but it's okay. Now, we definitely have to shield this ice beam, but I'm pretty sure we're one bullet seed away from two leaf plates. So I fire off one. I'm gonna do a good chunk to this zoom roll over being super effective. Now, we're almost at another one. Yeah, so. I was counting they were one away from an ice beam, I'm pretty sure, so I just go for the leaf blade here. And that's gonna be bye bye to Azumarill. So maybe Shiftry's use is an Azumarill counter. Past that, there's not an awful lot of water types <laughs> in the GBL, so probably better off having Snarl as the quick move, I don't know. But this is what this video is here to make, so right now I'm like, can we survive a flash cannon? The age old question I wanted to find out, no we cannot, so. It's good that we're up to shield here because I can just go for the hydro pump and I know I still have a healthy Altaria in the back so that's good too and of course this Registeel can farm us down so I make the instant swap and I'm like okay we're up a shield I can take one sky attack anyways and I could probably take a dragon pulse but I know I can get to this sky attack before they can get to another one so it's gonna be a GG here at least we won a couple of battles for you guys as I said and yeah, let me know how your community day went. Let me know if you caught some good PvP ones, some good shinies. I didn't catch a 100% one, I caught a 98 IV one. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. As always, goodbye.